Oh. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you rolling? Yeah. Okay. I'm down to almost the very last batch of bottles. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this batch, and then I'll have these bottles. I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything with this bottle or not. Oh, Coke. Yeah, this is the Coca-Cola that comes from Mexico. Yeah. Yeah, and it so it was flavored with sugar and not uh, high fructose corn syrup. I got it, Morris. Yes, okay. But uh, anyway, these these will be the very last ones. This was the very last uh, bottle of wine or alcohol that we got just before Ash Wednesday. Yeah. And it is now the Lent season, so you and I agreed yeah. to give up alcohol. And during this Lenten season, I am going to finish my wine bottle and tap and wine yeah. label tapestry project. So, so I'm going to start. I'm going to take four of these, and I'm going to come back for those four. Why don't you follow me into the kitchen? And I'm going to set these guys up here on the counter. And I'm going to go ahead and stop up the sink. And I'm going to run, I'm going to run the water until it gets very, very hot. And that'll take a minute, so I'm going to put on my rubber gloves. And as soon as this water gets really hot, Yeah, because well, it's got steam coming up from it now. Okay, I'm going to transfer it into here. And I'm going to go ahead and start with these. While the sink is filling up, I also fill up the bottles. That's why I have to put rubber gloves on, because the water is very, very hot. So I'm going to fill this up. And I'm going to let that lay down. I'm going to go to the next one. Basically, I'm going, to, I'm going to fill these guys up, and I'm going to go back into uh, the studio and get four more of these bottles, and I'll lay, the, lay them. On, I'll fill those up and lay them on top, and the, the, it'll take about about another five ten minutes for the sink to fill up, and then I'll let I'll let all these bottles soak for about an hour to an hour and a half. Hot, so I have to. <laughs> Awfully hot. Yeah, so I have to be careful how I hold it. Okay, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let that fill, and that'll be, I'll have just enough time to go get the other bottle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah! Uh, yeah, I already got them. <laughs> okay, why don't you follow me back into the kitchen? Basically, I'm going to repeat the same thing, only here, because it's filling up with water and bottles, I'm actually going to do this, because I, I need the room, the room to work by hands. Okay, we'll just un let this one sit. And you can see what's happening with the full bottles and putting the bottles in the sink. The, the sink's almost full. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it fill up till it's about, till it's just about a quarter, a quarter of an inch from the top of the sink. And I find it helps a little bit to turn these bottles around a bit so that, so that the uh, labels get good and soaked. But you have to be careful because you get, if, if you're a little too rough with the bottles, you'll rip up you'll rip up the labels. Mm -hmm. So you do have to be careful. Okay. Okay, I'm going to let that fill up just a little bit more. Up, 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 up. And up. I think that's good. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to let those soak for about an hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes, and I'll come back and visit and see if uh, I can work with those. Okay. okay, is that thing on? Yeah. Okay, we're rolling? Yeah. Okay, it's been an hour and a half. So, this water, this water's warm, it's not hot. And so I'm going to take, I'm going to take the blade <clears throat> and I'm going to start with an easy one, or at least one I think looks easy. I'm going to start with this raven's wood. And I'm going to start with the back label. Because this looks like it's, yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. It's not easy, is uh, it? Well, actually, well, it's not, I wouldn't say it's difficult. It's just that it's not lifting off like some of them. Oh, see, yeah, it's a little sticky. But see, now, see, now I'm like a half an inch in. <laughs> now I'm three quarters of an inch in. Okay. I like to do this under the water. And the only thing making it difficult is this little, the water is filled with bottles. Yeah. So, so I have to be... I guess that makes it more difficult. <laughs> I guess. But uh, if I'm... See, if I'm patient and persistent, then it, it works. But this one's, this one's a little, the paper's a little delicate, so, so I have to be careful. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange some of these bottles so that I'll have a little bit more room. And more I think, room. Yes, and I'm going to do a trick here. I'm, now that I've got two parts of it, I'm going to let this float. And mm -hmm. what I'll do is I'll just I'll just do these little pushes behind the label, and that way that way the label is less likely to tear, or at least less likely to tear as much. Now, when you get tears in these labels, it's not doesn't mean they're ruined. It just means you have to gather the pieces and and put them back together when you're going to mount them on onto something else. In this case, I'm, I'm mounting these onto uh, other pieces of paper that I have cut and arranged in my art studio. And what I do is I, um, I have art paper, which is a fancy way of saying, you know, good handmade paper that, uh, what I do is I choose paper that replicates the, a shade of the bottle with the wine in it. Mm -hmm. So m most of the paper is like dark brown or a dark reddish brown or black or or things of that nature. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you know, I thought this would be an easy one, but actually this, this one's pretty... Uh, Tough. This one's yeah, that it's proven to be very impossible. <laughs> well, I don't think I would go in for pessimistic exaggeration because I'm almost, I'm almost at a point where it's coming. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so I'm gen gently gonna put this to the side, and very gently, I'm going to to raise this up. Okay, I've got I've got the part of the la the label that is not torn, and I'm careful enough. God, boy, see this is one. This one's almost like tissue paper, and that that's what makes it difficult. Is the paper is so lightweight? Ah, but I set it on the on the paper towel, so it's going to blot for a few minutes, and then uh, w once it's once it's not so wet, I'll be able to pick it up and move oh, it onto oh. a piece of paper. Okay. Yeah. And see, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work the front of this. And I really, I really like the way this label looks. This is really a beautiful graphic design. Uh -huh. And this will look really nice when I mount it onto another piece of paper with a dark background. So I'm really going to make an effort to do this carefully so that it doesn't rip. And this actually here, this is going pretty good. Yeah. This 
because I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling the the blade against the glass. When it's under the water, I can feel it gliding through that thin layer of glue that's behind the label. And the hot water, yeah, you know, these have been soaking for an hour and a half, and that hot water basically is melting that glue. And okay, so that's that side. Let's see if I can work this. I'm gonna have to do this like yeah, like that. And I'm just gonna have to do this through a series of small, small delicate pushes. key is to be persistent. And that's very, it, it, it's difficult to be persistent if you, you know, if you're not feeling any, any progress or if it looks like it's not going anywhere. But with my hand, I'm able, I'm able to feel it making the progress, even, even though it's, it's in these tiny, tiny steps. I'm sorry this has taken longer than I thought. I really, I looked at all these bottles and I just thought to myself, oh, look at that Ravenswood. That's almost, that's getting ready to lift right off the bottle. And I was wrong. <laughs> this is turning out to require some effort. Yep. Okay, we're almost there. drain a bit and we're just gonna let this there. Okay that's good and I'll empty this in the other sink and that's the first one of this batch of eight and we're gonna put this on the drying rack let it dry and then I'll I'll come back and get you when I'm down to the last one. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you Eddie. Okay. Okay this didn't take very long to uh, blot out and this is the back label on the Ravenswood. It's got a little tear here and it's got a tear here. Mm -hmm. uh, but while it's damp like this, if you're very careful, it's easy to go over to the piece of paper that I'm going to put it on and just gently lay it down and just lay down those pieces around the tears so that they reconstitute the position of the label. And then what will happen is this'll, this will dry overnight and then those those tears will will not be quite so uh, they won't be so vulnerable and delicate. Okay, so I've got that, and I'm going to get the front label and again, just very carefully. And this is this is pretty much intact. I'm going to put it above the back label, and it's just this one corner here. It gave me a little bit of problem, and I'm just very gently just gonna, gonna flatten it out, and that's pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna take, take some paper towel, blot it, and then a piece, piece of white paper, and this will be for the next label, and we're all set. Thank you. Okay. Are we rolling? Yes. Oh, we are. Oh, okay. Well, I'm down. I'm down to the last bottle in this batch. Mm -hmm. I've removed the back label, and I'm removing the front label and the front medallion. And this one, this one's gliding off nice and easy. Uh, the the barefoot wine labels usually are pretty easy, so so I'm not having a problem here. The one the ones I have problem with are. Um, <clears throat> the large labels that are on very thin paper, like tissue paper. Mm -hmm. uh, but Barefoot brand uses a nice, a nice, relatively heavy stock paper. 
and uh, I guess they use that heavy stock because they, they when they print their labels they have some embossing and and that that sort of keeps keeps the label pretty sturdy. Okay. So if you want to scooch back a little bit, I got there's the back label and here's the front label. And we're just gonna go. We're gonna remove this medallion. And that's just gliding right across. You just slip that blade under the edge, and there we go. And we put this on the blotter, and then take this out, empty it, and drain out, drain out the lukewarm water. And basically, I've got I've got three bottles left. I'm going to move them forward. I'm not I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. The only thing that's going to come off is this like ingredient label, but but I'll do something with that. And then I've got I've got this one. And then and then this one that I attached this note to. That's the very last one we bought. Uh, we bought that right around Mardi Gras, Fat Tuesday. And we finished it on Ash Wednesday. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to set this up to dry. And then next thing I do is um, I'm going to put this one on a piece of paper. And then I'll come back and, and, and I'll soak these in hot water. So let's see. I've got this. Yeah, these. Like I said, these, these barefoot labels are... are wonderful to work with because they're sturdy they keep their shape and they're just they're just a delight to work with and so I'm going to put that here and I'm going to put a piece of paper towel to blot and then a piece of paper on top okay now and that's that's eight labels or blotting and drying in this stack and I've got my eight bottles up here and I'm gonna transfer them outside uh, so that they will be planted in the bottle garden and then next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna work on these three bottles and that'll be it okay thank there it goes are we rolling it's rolling no. <laughs> I'm on the very last bottle now. Okay. I've, I've already done the back label, which is right here. Okay. And this is the the ingredient label from the Coca-Cola bottle that came from Mexico. Oh. Which which you bought at Mona's. Yeah. Yes. You can Does you can have. Is it made with pure cane sugar? Or well, it... it just says sugar. Oh, that means it's made with cane sugar, not high fructose corn syrup, right. which American Coke is made Yeah, of. I was going to say, when you brought that home and I tasted it, I said, hey, this tastes the way it did when I was a kid. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, anyway. Modern know. Coke tastes like cough syrup. This is this is the last bottle we bought uh, before Lent. Yeah. This is the Naked Grape Cabernet Sauvignon. It's a red wine in a green bottle, and I'm almost there. I've, I've got most of the label off. I'm just gonna just gonna do a little bit more. And, and there we go. It's starting to glide underneath behind that label. This one's this one's not as easy as the barefoot labels, but it's also not as difficult as some of the other labels. This is kind of an in between. Because the, the paper stock is pretty sturdy. Mm -hmm. So I, d I don't have any rips or tears in this one. Rips and tears? Yeah. Like, see, you know, some, like um, uh, a brand that's very difficult for doing this is Jacob's Creek. Oh. And they have very beautiful labels, but they're very thin and delicate. And therefore very impossible. <laughs> well, well, nearly <laughs> well, I say very impossible because I learned that from all the Indians who worked at Mass Highway Department. Okay, now this looks like, yeah. Okay, so I set that to the side. Yeah, see, maybe a few wrinkles but no tears. That's good. And so I'm going to plot, put this on the uh, paper towel to blot.
and I can empty this in the sink. I can drain drain the now lukewarm water from that sink. All right, and that's the last one, at least. <laughs> At least until Easter, I guess. Now, yeah, today it. Well, well, actually, but it's on Palm Sunday. Oh, it does. Okay, yeah. when is Palm Sunday in relation to Easter? Seven days before. Oh, okay. So, so well, today is uh, Sunday, March 11th, and so Palm Sunday is three weeks from now. Mm -hmm. So, no more alcohol, at least for three weeks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, thank you, Eddie. Okay. So let's see. I'm gonna. If you want, you can come over here where I'm putting this on here. You can, and you can just get like a minute of me putting it on, on the paper. There it is. And like I said, this, this label stayed intact because it's, it's pretty, pretty sturdy. There it is. In the light. Mm -hmm. And so I'll just put some paper towel Oops. on top of it. Lot and and that's good. And I've got one piece of paper here. I might as well put the. Uh, this is the Coca-Cola label. I'll just <laughs> I'll just put him there, and then I'll put these here, and then I'll I'll put these under a book overnight, and they'll be dry. Let's see. Today is uh, today is Monday. The 12th of March, March 12th, 2012, and and like I said, it's 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 wet and rainy outside, so I'm working inside. And here on the dining room table, I've got the last batch of the liquor and wine labels that I've been working on, and I just finished counting them. Let's see. This is this is how I store them after after I uh, after I re after I soak these labels off the bottles. I place them onto pages of paper, and after they dry overnight, I put them in these sleeves. Anyway, so well, let's see. I've got there's twenty. There's 40, and so on. Ba basically, I've already counted these, and they go all the way up, all the way up to 130. And there's the last one. Okay, and there's the note saying it's the last one. And so I'm going to take this three ring, this. This three ring binder. I'm going to walk it past the bedroom and into my art studio. Uh, this is my art studio. Eventually these these labels will be mounted on pieces of paper and they will be an extension of this project here. So, and this is where all those bottles I've been working on for the last week, they used to be here on the floor on top of this tarp. And I, well, and uh, so I've got the bottles out of the way and so now I've got, I've got room to walk in here. And so this guy here is gonna go in this box with the other binders and the other resources for this project. So I'm just gonna, gonna set him here and and at some point, I'm going to go through that box and uh, and basically con uh, uh, basi basically I'm going to finish this project uh, hopefully sometime this month. But before I do that, I have to I have to clear all the stuff off of this table so I can use this table to do it.